Hello everyone, in this video I will uh, show you how to continue with the model that we have uh, here in the in the video number 8 uh, I will try to complete the external wall and as you can see it have a lots of uh, you know like sh shaft geometries uh, no idea or no clue why the architects actually add them and they all seems uh, like you can't leave it apart actually if you compare them to the lower uh, plan uh, or the lower level and um, uh, probably I would need to do some partitioning uh, in the same uh, time and, uh, I, and I know I'm sorry because last time we have you know like finish all the external walls and then we jump to the internal wall and then opening and do the opening while in the second floor to get a little bit uh, different because I needed to understand the, uh, how this model has been added that's why I add the window first and same in here I will just you know do both the courtyards here, sorry the, the shafts here to finish the external part of this geometry and add the partition in the same time uh, so the sequence of the work a little bit changed due to the complexity of the level but in any normal villa you should have just do whatever we done in the ground floor by finishing the external wall and then come back to the f to the opening and then finally to the architectural fenestration represented by doors and windows so back to the model and in it you can see that uh, uh, this wall actually need to be split it isn't going all the way that way and it's going to be terminated here actually in this uh, this point and that should be replaced by a curtain wall system but for me i will just keep it as a guideline and i, re I will remove whatever it intersects uh, here inside the bedroom so i might need to use uh, a slice tool so breaking that wall into two i'm going to drag that down anywhere in here I'm gonna leave that when I come back to replace it and I'm gonna delete it all and for now I'll just uh, create similar and uh, create the wall in this side probably it should wall, it should be aligned to the inner face of that another uh, hit on the space bar to flip the wall so this is the internal part, yeah, that's true, and that's the external part, that's what I want, and then probably we need to trim those things and, you know, get this corner that we have in here. Uh, same thing here, we need to create a uh, similar and probably uh, out of a point in here and then another point somewhere in here. And again, uh, that's an external and that's an internal surface, so probably I'll flip it because that will be an air here and the door will be placed here that the external that's right so i will take the internal you know uh dimension here it's 1000 beautiful makes sense and here 940 so at least we make it 950 can we go with a 1000 maybe no i just make 950 i think make it better and in this case we need to trim that actually it will not be trimmed uh, because the door will cut that open and this got this part of it will not be trimmed also we're gonna add you know uh, an opening in the same size of the door later on to get the to get the door shape uh, you know like a, a recess the same way we've done in uh, this window so for now it should be okay yeah that's okay and again that's the incline wall you remember in the last video I told you this, you know, when you go up to one meter here, it'd be going to be cut and shown here in this level in, in this point. That's why we shifted the inclined uh, mass beginning like a 500 millimeter away from the edge. Anyway, uh, back to this. So probably we will be in need to continue that that way. So I'm going to have a create similar again. And probably going with the uh, uh, finish interior again. So I'm going to go that way with the space and touch that up. And that's the exterior part and that's the interior part. That's right because all this will be an inner part of the room. We need to slice that thing. And this guy will this guy will be trimmed. And I believe that this have to sit back to make a room for our bath. Uh, Ah, what is this? Okay, so probably he added this to be like a little bit 
uh, you know, uh, to get the sink or whatever in here. So as long as it's there, you know, I'm just going to keep it. That's it almost for the external part here. So I'm going to do this again. Uh, I'm going to have a copy. Uh, maybe copy will be good. So I'm going to push that down, let's say 500 mil. Exactly. And probably we get back that in here and the same thing in here which for no reason it goes all the way to the end of the world here <laughs> anyway I'm gonna get it back and an error message okay that's crazy uh, just delete right to click or actually from here right to click create similar and I'm gonna go from here to here that's the external so I'm gonna flip that and push it back I don't know how much so instead of guessing just add the dimension here and probably let's make this a 350 and that's my setback in here almost and the same thing I'm gonna create similar and create this one and create similar here and here now this guy should be let's say 1200 beautiful and this guy should be let's say 700 no more 800 beautiful and you can see the external part and that's the internal probably I'm gonna flip that making the whole big mess in here and that's uh, 750 yeah 700 I think it's okay no, <laughs> anyway, so that's getting actually been placed in the correct place in uh, built actually in the correct place. Uh, probably the this one is really in a need to be pushed a little bit, maybe fifty, and almost done. If you care, you have to switch this external to internal part. That's the internal part. You might need to make this a new wall, this segment as a new wall, as they are both external, but I'm not really going to make that much of a complexity. So, yeah, that's uh, that's almost it about here. Uh, that's an external part. That's an external wall. It shouldn't go goes inside. Uh, it should be partitioned, guys. So, again, slicing is our best tool in here trim with this guy and then we're gonna maybe we're gonna just drag that down here and by that we really need to use this creating similar from an internal face all the way down probably with this space in here 350 and then you know do whatever you need to get those partition placed in the in the right location it isn't sound correct for me so I'm gonna push that like a another, I don't know 16 to make it a hundred thrown back the DI here that's a four thousand and three hundred so Yep, that's almost about uh, a good, a correct distance. And I think that's, I'm sure that I just make that outside. Yeah, probably because I trim it with this one or fill it with this one anyway. Now the same thing here. So I'm just gonna create similar in this area and place the wall all the way to the end. And again, DI to know exactly how far it is from this probably a 900 uh, 1000 yeah placed great and same thing here so I'm gonna just uh, have to create similar again and push that all the way to the end placing that a little bit higher and then I need to know exactly how much it's gonna be 900 probably nah, I'll make it 1000 it's look nice even if it's not really following that I, know, I don't know 1000 is look better so that's uh, 
that's about it for uh, the division in this area this you can do a setback or a reset uh, window in the same area here I don't know I didn't like that it's not like really that deep to be noticed and to be done if you compare it to this one or this one it's just like a 300 mil I'm just I'm just gonna assume it just gonna go flush like this one by the way this one is a flush and it's in the same level of the wall it doesn't need to be you know have a different I'm just gonna add it now while we are here so six uh, 1450 crazy number so this one edit type and I'm gonna duplicate and probably making that 6450 by 2000 so I'm gonna make add in zero here so again 6450 oh no that's too high 2000 uh, the width actually 6450 hit OK and then the whole thing collapse of course it's just because it's added to this one so I'm gonna have a create similar in here place that wherever it is flipping it and then change it to the type that we just created maybe we need to use a line so just this one with this one to place it correctly as you can see and we need to go to the you know the side of is it on a west elevation or just in the perspective make sure it's a 500 mil so yeah see so it will be the same level on both sides in here so far so good and I think we can go ahead or later to add uh, the doors uh, that's okay that's okay we need to cut the slab here but not a big issue oh yeah we need a partition here of course so create similar and uh, a partition here so a di let's say how f let's see how far it is so probably 1700 that's a clear number it's really look ugly here really so I don't know maybe it's the time to change a little bit so maybe a hundred down I don't know yep better so that's it guys that's it for uh, today's video is just to make the complete the inner division of that and again I ask you to do this and this so probably gonna get back uh, to the, the window the reset windows on both sides and this door anyway thank you for watching and have a good day bye bye